welcome to Bruce Springsteen Guitar Lessons. Today's lesson is going to be something slightly different to normal. We're going to take six of Clarence's awesome sax solos and arrange them for guitar. Thanks very much to subscribe star Jeff Riccio for the request.
Hi and welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that walkthrough. So now what we're going to do is go through all the individual parts. Okay, so let's start with jungle land. Okay, so it's in the key of E flat major and it's about 72 BPM. Okay, so you're going to start off with the sixth, going to the 16th fret. So it's basically using the E flat major scale, E flat major pentatonic. Uh, shift into the 16th fret uh, B string. So that's for a whole bar. One, two, three, four, and again. And then shift into the 17th fret G and then slide back to the 15th fret G. That's one, two, and then 13th fret D at the end of the bar, and slide in 15, 17, quick slide, uh, and then hit the fifth fret, uh, 15th fret um, of the G. And right at the end of the bar, you've got two quick notes, 16th notes in succession. 15th fret A, 13th fret D. And then 16, 16, 15 on the D. And then right at the end of the bar, hammer on 13, 15 A string. And then 13 D, 13 A. I think I may have made a mistake in the, made a few mistakes. I only had time about one take. So, so uh, four E and uh, that's quite cool. Right at the end of bar one, two, three, four, five, four E and uh, so 13, 15, hammer on 13 D, 13 A, and then 17, 15 on so one. Slide into the 17th fret D string. One, two, three, four, and then you're going to go up to the 17th fret um, D string, and then 15th fret G, and then 17th fret G string for a whole bar. One, two, three, four, and again. One, two, three, four, and then kind of slide down to the 15th fret G. One, two, there's some triplets here. One, Two, one, two, three, one. So that bit again. One, two, one, and then 16th fret B, 15th fret B, and 15G. Two, three, right at the end of the next bar, 13th fret D, and 16th fret D. And we've got this cool little bit. So one, one E, and uh, kind of like that. So 16th fret D. And then use your third finger again, pull off 15, 13. Quick succession, 16th note triplets there. Right at the end of the bar, 13th fret again, and then do maybe 17th fret D string. And then 15, 13, 15. Okay, and then that, that tie, lots of vibrato. If in doubt, just add a bit of vibrato. Obviously you can't mimic the sax, you know, exactly, but you know, hopefully you've, I've got it as close as I can and can get it. It's quite good fun, just something slightly different this week. So. And at the end of this bar, so we're now on bar 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Right at the end of bar 12, 13th fret. Again, then you've got this cool little bit. Okay, so here you can slide or hammer on. Uh, it doesn't matter too much as long as the, kind of the end result is similar. So 15, either hammer on or slide. And then uh, to the 17th fret D, then 15th fret G, then 15, 17 G, and then hammer on 15, 17 straight away. You see the tiny little um, grace notes in the tab. Uh, obviously there's a quick, quick kind of uh, quick notes. So you're not holding on for very long at all. And then at the end of the bar, do 13, 13 again, two 16th notes. So this bar slowly, bar 13, one and two and a three and four and uh, and then you do start off with very much the same one and two and okay so you do the slide or the hammer on again one and then 15 g hit it again then do the hit it again and hammer on to um 17 g and then the d string then 15 and then 13 13 again then do the slide again 15 17 15 g and then beat four, 17, 15. Okay, now bar 16, 17, 15, 15, 17, 15, quite quickly those last two notes. One and two and uh, three. Then 17, 17, 15, bar 17 now, 15, one, uh, that kind of same rhythm as we had before. 15 A, 13 D, and then 15, 13, 13, 15, 13 quickly, then 
17, 17, 15. Cool, so now if you're looking at this eventually on the guitar profile, we're on page two now. So uh, that kind of cool little bit again. One, that bit. So that kind of like a pull off slide. Okay, so it's all good for your techniques as well. If you're practicing hammer-ons, slides, ha you know, bends and all that sort of stuff. And end of bar 19, 15, A, 13, D. Then 15, 13, 13, 15, 13, quickly. One and two and a three, four. And then you've got the two quick notes at the end again. Probably do those alternate picking. And then you've got that kind of cool little bit that we've had before. One and two and a three and four and a. Starts off the same, but then it goes ascending. One and two and three and. Sounds really cool. So 15, 17, slide or hammer on. So 15, 17, D, 15, G, 15, 17, G. Then middle finger, 16th fret, B. And then uh, 15, 17, G. 15G, 1313D. And then one and two, three, four. Okay, so this bit here, so end of bar, uh, bar, from bar 23, you're gonna go one and, so 1517 and 15G, then 1715, right at the end of bar 23. Then bar 24, 17, 15, 15, 17D, 15G, quickly. Then right at the end of the bar, 15, 15, shift into the 17th fret G. Then 15, 16 B. Then 17 B G, 16 B, 16 uh, B again, 17 and the G. And then you've got this really cool bit. Uh, uh, so 15, 17, 15, 13, but do those kind of like that, nice and quick. And then you've got this. So do, you've got lots of sort of slides going on. This is the end of bar 26, if you're referring to the tab. 15, 17, 15, 13, 15, with one pick. One, two, uh, so technically five notes, if you can kind of include the first one. 15, 13D, 15A, end of bar 27, uh, we've got four and a, um, 15A, 13D, 15D, then 13, 13 twice, 15, 13 quickly, 15A, oh, this is on the A, then shift into the 17D, so four and a, so it's sliding into 17. Be pay attention to my fingers that I'm using as well, because that will help if you're using the kind of setting yourself up right as well. So um, where are we? Okay, so end of bar 28, sliding into 17D, 15G, 17D, then bar 29, 15. Okay, so uh, bar 29, 15, 17, hold it and then quick pull off. 17D, 17, 15G. And then hammer on 15, 17, end of bar 29. Then, okay, then 16B, one, uh, one, two E and, three E and. That kind of lots of repeating, going back and forth between 16B, 17G. So 16 uh, and 17, I'll, do the, I'll count the time in there. One, two E and, three, and a four E and and then bar 31 17 2 3 4 17 D 15 G and then one and two and three and then so similar kind of lots of there are some repeating patterns there end of bar 32 now okay so bar 32 17 15 15 17 17D quickly, 15G quickly, and then 17G, kind of alternating, if I count it, so end of bar 32, all of bar 33, so four and, four E and a one, and a two E and, three E and a four and a. Then 1816B, 1715BG, 1513 quickly, on 
the D. And then you go 17, 16, 17, 16 again. But the last, last 16 is la last longer. We're now in bar 35. One, two, three, and then you've got this. It's quite cool in bar 35. So you've got 16 and 17 G. 13 um, fret with your first finger. Slide from the using your third finger from 15 to 17 on the D and then 15, 15, 17 on the D and now in bar 36, 17, 15 on the G and then 3 and 4 E and 17, 15, 17 at the end bar 37, 17, 15 and it's tight then 17, 15 on the D then 17, 15 in this quite cool so 17 twice and then the second time slide down pull off and then slide and then you got this cool bit uh, you either use your middle finger there 15th fret A then 13th fret and then this so 15 A 13 D hammer on pull off 13 15 13 15 A then 13 D and then you got this kind of 13, 13, 11, it's kind of sliding down. 13, 11, 10 on the D. And then finish it off. Actually doing some left hand kind of tapping here. So 10, 10, pull off, but then pulling off, and then left hand hammering without even picking. So there's the eight on the D and the 11 A is quite fast then finish on the 10th for A string. Cool. So have fun with that again. You're going to get the guitar profile or tab on, uh, you know, on Jay's Music Squad at Code UK or via Subscribestar. So obviously, if you're using Guitar Pro, you can slow bits down. Even if, even if you're using the PDF, break it all down into sections and add bits together. Cool. So now we're on to Dancing in the Dark. A lot faster, 148 BPM. It's in the key of E major. Uh, no, sorry, what am I about? It's in the key of B major. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so the other one was E flat. E flat major scale. And now we're in B major, okay? So it's predominantly starts off, it uses the first shape of the B major pentatonic. That's uh, seven, uh, four, six, four, six, four, six, four, seven, four, seven. First shape. And then start from, um, from the seventh fret again, doing the second shape, which is seven, nine, Six nine six nine six eight seven nine seven nine. If you've got those shapes down, it's, uh, it's it all looks kind of familiar. So okay, so we're now. Uh, so I gave myself a bit of a counting because when I made the back track for this, uh, they're all different tempos. So I gave myself one bar. Again, you can do that yourself. It means you can play the whole thing through. And it's just one bar to get used to the new tempo. So uh, bar forty four now. So one and two and three. So here I'm going uh, four, seven, hammer on. Then little finger, sixth fret, G, fourth fret, B. One and two and three, four, and then this. Do the hammer on again. But uh, on the start of the bar, so the first bar was one and two and three, four. One and two and three, so that's tied, and then seven, four on the B. Just tied into the next bar, then seven, seven. And then slide into the ninth fret and then seven high E uh, and then ninth fret B okay and then one two three four and one and two and three and four and okay so this is the end of bar one two three four five uh, of Dancing in the Dark uh, fourth fret D string one two three four Four and one, hammer on to six, then four six G, four B, seven B, slide into um, ninth fret B, then seven seven on the B. Right at the end of bar, this next bar, this bar we're in. One two and three four, and then you got this kind of repeating pattern, shifting to the ninth fret, which ties into the next bar, then seventh fret B, and then pull off eight six on the G. And then you do kind of do that 
basically the same thing again. And this time. Okay, so it's quite a cool repeating part. So the first time you're gonna go. Second time. Then you're just doing that, doing a pull off. Um, we're now in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, uh, but bar 54 in the tab. One and two and three and. So pull off nine, seven, B, and then eight, six, pull off, slide down to the fourth fret, and do that again. And the, sec the, the, the third time you do the full kind of crazy one, uh, you're gonna do pull off nine, seven, start off the same, then six, D. 4th fret G, use your 3rd finger, 6, 8, slide, then 7, 9, B, uh, 7 high E string, 1, 2, and 3, 4, and 1, and let that ring out for 2 bars. Cool, kind of cool little sort of, uh, again, it's sort of such a kind of, you can hear it at the end of every Bruce concert. Cool, and now Born to Run, which we obviously had to do. Uh, key of E major this one and then 147 BPM so pretty similar tempo to Dancing in the Dark okay cool right at the end of the bar so you're gonna go one two three four and this is it's basically using the E major pentatonic um, fourth shape okay um, so 16th fret G, are you starting with my first finger? One, two, three, four, and a, on the 16th fret, and then 18D, one, and two, and a, three, and four, and a. So uh, this bar, so one, two, three, four, and a, 18D, one, 16G, two, and a, then 18, 16, three, and four, and a, and then Back to the D again, 18th fret, one and two and uh, then 16D, 19 twice on the B uh, and the A. And then 16, 16, and a uh, one and two and a uh, three and four and, it's a very similar bar, bar 64 to bar 62. One, one and two and a uh, three and four and, uh, then you got this one and two, 17th fret B, but with gaps either side, one and two, 18, 16, eight, 18, then one and two and three and four and 17, 17, 18, 16, 18, 16, and two and three and four and, and then it's kind of cool, another cool little slide. Uh, 18, slide down to 16, then pull off. Then pull off 16, 14, 16, A, 14, D, 16, A. And they've got this cool little kind of repeating pattern one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three four okay so 16 14 16 pull off uh, on the end of one one and a two 16 14 16 uh, pull off hammer on now kind of doing a lot of left-handed tapping here one all right you can pick them both, so, uh, all three of them. So one and two, then 14D, 16A, 14D, and then do the pull off, but on the D string now. Then do move up two frets, 18, 16, 18, do the same thing. Then 18, 16G, 18D, 16G, and then 18, 16, 18, pull off. And then 16th fret, B, 17th fret B for a whole bar, and then right at the end, one, two, three, four. Cool, so that's Born to Run. Now, Promised Land. So 115 BPM and key of G major. I'll come in on the and of four again. One, two, three, four, and a. One, two, three, four, and a. Okay, so 12th fret, 16th notes. One, two, three, four, and a. Two notes there. Use your third finger, slide 14, 16 G, and 15 B. Two, three, four, and then 12th fret again twice. And then triplets, so one, two, three, one. One, two, three, one. So slide 14, 16 again quickly, then 15B, middle finger, then 
hit, hit that again and then smooth slide to the 17th fret of the B. And then at the end of the bar, 12th fret again twice, more triplets, 14, 16 again, 14, 15, 15, and then 15, 13, 12. That bar again, one, two, three, one, two, three, more triplets, one, two, three, one, two, three, 12 B, 14, 12 G, and do it again. Shift into 17th fret B, one, two, three, one, two, three, some more triplets here, 17 uh, B, one, two, one, two, three, so there's last two triplets there, 17th fret, and then 17, 15 again, one, two, another set of triplets, one, two, three, one, two, three, 17, 15, 16 on the G, one, two, three, then 14th fret G, one, two, three, four, and, uh, and then uh, middle finger, slide 14, 16 G, one, and two, and a three, and four, one. So that penultimate bar, 14, 16, you can actually use your third finger or middle, doesn't matter too much, 14, 16, 15, B, two, and a, one and two and a three and four and then great little solo of that amazing song uh, well they all are okay so now we're on to thunder road 138 bpm okay so you're going to do um so that's the yeah whole bar of obviously counting and then you've got this one two and three and four in the key of f major so it all sounds a little bit weird you know different keys but it sounds cool so yeah, on the end of one, one, sorry, and of two, one, two, and one, two, three, one. So F major, and we're in here. So 14th fret, uh, and of two, one, two, and 14th fret, and then triplet, a quarter notes, one, two, and 14, 15, 13B, then 13B. And then do the same bar again after that. One, two, and three, and one, two, and one, two, three, and 13, 15 B, one, two, 15 D, 12 G, then one, two, and do that bar again that we've just done before, one, two, and three, and four, then 15, 13 B, 14, 12 G, and then 12 G, uh, 15 D, one, and two, and three, four, that's that bar, one, and two, and three, 14, 12, same rhythm, one, and two, Cool, then you start again. One, two, and three, and one, two, and one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, and one, two. Get a lot of repeating parts here. One, two, and 15, 13, 14, 12. And then you've got this kind of slow, these are half notes or minims. 15, 2, 14, 12, 15, D, 15, B, 15, G, 14, G. 12G, good, then you're starting again. One, two, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, and one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, four, one, and two, and three, four, start again. One, two, then lots of repeating parts. One, two, and one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. And just shifting to the 15th fret D. Again, all brilliant sax solos, you know, it's, you know, it's all really good stuff. Okay, so now Badlands, nice short sort of eight bar solo, but again, sounds amazing. One, two, two BPM and the key of E major. Okay, it's so gonna shift into the 13th fret, uh, G string one, two, three, four. So shift into the uh, 13th fret G and then 12th fret B. One, two, three, four. The end of one, one and a. Down up on the 14th fret D, one and a. And then it's kind of like a E major kind of chord here. One and a, two and. 14, 14, 13 G, 12th fret uh, B and then one, two E and a. So 14, 14, 13G, 12B, then a quick grace note hammer on, 12 to 40 on the B, 12 on the B, right at the end of the bar, 13 fret G. 
and then 14 B. One, two, three, four. Triplets here. One, two, three, one, three, four. So 13 G, 12 B, 13 G, then three, four, 13, 11, okay? Now you do that slide again that we did on foot bar one. One, two, three, four, start the kind of 14, three, 14 fret thing going again. One, and, uh, and do another one. And then 11 G, and hammer on 11 quickly to 13. Three, 11th fret G, and then 14th fret D. One, two, three, four, two quick notes at the end. And then slide 11 to 13. One, and two, and a three, and four. Okay, so 11 to 13, slide. And then 12, 12, two quick 12s. And the slide again, and then 11, 11. Cool, so I hope you enjoyed that. Slightly different, um, sort of, uh, than usual but yeah thanks very much Jeff to uh, for requesting the video if you've really enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up any comments or suggestions feel free to let me know bef uh, below if you haven't subscribed already please hit that subscribe button hit, hit the bell icon for notifications if you need, need any files so I've done all these all the files you see uh, I make a lot of the backing tracks as well um, these are all available on jsmusicschool.co.uk so go into the Bruce store there you can get backing tracks you can get all the PDFs that I've made for this and a guitar profile for this one I've actually put some backing guitar from previous videos and added some so you can hear how the solos sound with the backing guitar uh, in the background so you can get in yeah PDF guitar pro uh, cool yes yeah, so any questions about anything let me know thank you very much for watching I'll see you next time cheers bye like to get guitar profiles, tab PDFs, backing tracks from any of these tutorials, head over to either the subscribe star page or my website jsmusicschool.co.uk. Remember to subscribe and hit that bell icon for notifications. Thanks very much, see you on the next one.